bracing and bracing. Now, don't you think it's time we do some bracing? So Cheryl's getting pretty good at this stuff. Uh, it's not a habit for her yet. Um, obviously the goal of a brace is if you're falling, you don't fall. You're losing your balance. You keep yourself right set up with a brace. There's two main kinds of braces. A high brace. A high brace is where you use the power face of your paddle. How do you do that? Elbows under the paddle, boom. Elbows under the paddle, boom. Low brace is where you use the back face of the paddle. Just a quick slap brace. If you feel like you're losing your balance, slap the water. All right. To really get good at the brace, by the way, and the brace will help you with the roll, your objective is to be able to get through. You put your whole head in the water. So we're going to watch Cheryl here real quick. Watch her go all the way ahead in the water and brace up. Boom. Okay, enough, no scalling. Don't scald. Just slap the water and come up. Slap the water and come up. Other side, go. Just, all right, nice. Sit up. Good. Notice how her head is all the way down and back. This is good roll practice, by the way. That's the best way to practice the brace. Why? Because your goal when you brace is to save the boat, not the body. What does that mean? You want your boat to be right side up. You don't care whether your body touches the water. If your boat's right side up, you're good to go. The opposite of that, of course, is you're, you feel yourself falling and you try to keep your head up and, and you do that by lifting your knee and tipping your boat over. That is the anti-brace. That is not what you want to do. You want to throw your head down and back and hit the brace. Why am I not demonstrating? I'm wearing a microphone. I'll demonstrate in a second. You can watch back and forth. So Cheryl's going to do two things for us. Cheryl's going to do a brace. Get over here. Brace on that side. Okay, good. Now do it all the way around. Look at the end of her roll. Look at the end of her roll. <laughs> All right, first one, carp. But the second, the end of her roll was identical to the end of the brace. This is a good thing. The second one worked out good. First one, not so much. So, a couple tips for practicing the brace. Step one, just practice slapping the water. Slap the water, both sides, slap. Practice getting your paddle flat to the water. Number two, Make sure you don't do the most common mistake, is slap the water back here. A brace behind you doesn't do any good. Perpendicular to the boat is the goal. Perpendicular to the boat on both sides. It feels like it's in front of you. Also, look at this. When you're in front of you, perpendicular to the boat, your arms are in the box. When you get behind you, your arms are out of the box, meaning they're in a dangerous position. You can hurt yourself here. You're not going to hurt yourself up here. After a couple small slaps, then we do a deeper brace, like Cheryl's doing here. Big deep brace, boom, good. And then, and then she tips all the way over and hip snaps up. Yeah, that's what you call a super duper deep brace. That's Cheryl. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, that's Cheryl doing a good deep brace and giving us a good proper demonstration. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mic off and you're going to watch a little bit of silent action. I'm going to do, actually it's not going to be silent, I'm going to talk you through it right now. I'm going to do a sculling brace. Actually, and Cheryl will demonstrate a sculling brace. She sculls, she comes up, okay I'm sculling. Now notice I'm sculling, boat flips over, I roll it back up, still sculling. Learning how to scull, that's another paddle dexterity exercise. If you can't do that, wow that sucks. You gotta learn how to do that. It's not that hard, it just takes some practice. And it's all about the blade always flying up, up, up. It no, it's not an upside down U. It's like spreading peanut butter on a piece of bread. Spread, spread. The faster it goes, the more it's hydroplaning, like a water ski. Pretty cool. Sculling brace is a great way to extend the brace indefinitely, of which uh, Cheryl knows how to do. Very cool. All right. That should get you going for bracing. Last but not least, how do you apply this to the real world? When you're paddling the entire time, when you peel out of an eddy, you need to be thinking about bracing. If you feel like you're losing your balance, you don't do and set up and roll. If you feel like you're losing your balance, slap the water. Always be there for a brace. When do you roll? When the brace doesn't work. And if you find yourself rolling without a brace that failed, then you're not reacting quick enough, so it's not on the top of mind. 
Getting the brace on top of mine takes practice. Means always be thinking about it. All right, cool. I think we're ready to go. We should go whitewater kayaking now. Yeah. Sweet.